What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Tinker's Construct update video. Now no, there's not going to be a download guys. This is just me going through what I've added so far. How you guys are going to react to it. So you can comment down below if you like it. You like how I'm actually recreating this. Uh, any suggestions is, you know, I would love for suggestions guys. Put them in the comment section below. Also hit that like button to try and finish this to add it to Crazy Craft. If we get 400 likes, I definitely will add this to Crazy Craft on the next update for sure. But let's go ahead and look at what we got so far. So you guys already, if you watched my first video, already had the patterns and stuff like that that you guys can get. But I went ahead and added some modifiers now. Uh, so the way you get patterns is pretty easy. And we'll go over the modifiers in a second. But you take sticks and paper and you put it inside of a crafting table. And you get yourself a pattern. You can get a whole bunch if you wish. Uh, that is totally up to you. Now you can create different kinds of patterns using different materials. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use the modifiers. You can watch the first video if you want to check that part out for that. Now we went ahead and added a bunch of modifiers. So let's get some of them. Uh, we don't need all of them, but coal is how you use to create a modifier with pattern. So you'd be already having coal. It's early early game stuff, and these are going to be early game modifiers. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what we got. So I went ahead and added in wooden modifiers so you can have different stuff. So let's go ahead and look at that. You can see that we have gold wood sword and iron wood sword. Uh, these are all modified with gold, iron, and then we're going to have diamonds. So these are each going to be their own classified modifiers. So basically, if you take a uh, diamond, a modifier pattern, and you take like a wooden axe or whatever, We'll do the wooden pickaxe. You will get a diamond wooden pickaxe. And when you hold it, uh, it gives you, you know, perks and stuff. You could run around. So let me just go to uh, game mode S, like so. And, uh, you know, you can take off. But if you hold it, it's super fast. You guys can go through with the pickaxe. It's just a modifier that modifies early in game. It does have a lot more durability than a wooden pickaxe. And it's definitely a lot faster than shovels and... Uh, you know axes for doing the trees so if you want to create your other ones you can as well uh, it's the same thing if you take a modifier like so take in that and you take like a wooden axe the good thing is the modifier with diamonds and all those whenever you do a modifier you could take no matter how damaged it is and get a completely brand new one so let's get that and as well as the sword uh, so we got now all of these modified wooden pieces uh, which we also have all the wooden fied gold and iron iron is a little bit different guys and so is gold the way that these work is iron actually slows you down a little bit it's not as fast and it's different damage but let's go ahead and look at the pickaxe actually uh, so you guys can see that version the swords just do damage but this one slows you down a lot it's a lot faster or not a lot faster but has way more durability than the actual diamond and the uh, gold, but it's slower. Uh, now, the uh, golden pickaxe here is insanely fast, but has no durability. Like, the durability is completely nerfed out, but... Yeah, that's pretty awesome for those as well. Uh, now, the swords do all different damage. So, the diamond sword does six damage. This one does five, and this one does four, I believe. Uh, and then the regular does three, which is pretty neat. Now, I also added in the sheared bricks here. So... To get that, you need Groot, and to get Groot, you need coal, or I mean uh, clay, sand, and gravel, and you take those, and you can put inside of a crafting table like this. doesn't matter the order. Don't worry, I'm going to probably add it where you get three instead of one, but you could get a whole bunch like that, so I got 64. Now you're going to need some coal and put it in a furnace to get these sheared bricks, so you can put that and some coal. It'll smelt down and give you the sheared brick form once you get these you can actually go to the crafting table now and go ahead and create the bricks and once you get a whole bunch of bricks you can then create the smeltery which i'll show you guys in a second so let me go ahead and go back to creative so let me go to game mode uh, c and let's go ahead and build ourselves the uh smeltery here now this is all within the add-on there's no no more command blocks or anything around uh that i had with the smeltery but if you go ahead and let's just build this up so I'm going to place that there. Uh, let's place this here. And we're going to go ahead and I need the bricks. You need a whole bunch of these bricks. Now, the this is only the first stage. I'm going to be adding in a bunch more. I actually need a furnace. So let's take this furnace, place this here, and take this. You do need to do the floor like so when you're crafting this. You will be able to craft this, guys. Uh, it won't be like I did in my live stream the other day where you saw me just uh, throw a couple items and it spawned. That was just for me to test around. 
but you will be able to craft this and I'll make it where you could craft it higher and things like that. You can leave suggestions if you have any cool suggestions you guys would like me to try and recreate that. So there you need to build it just like this. Now you can take a dropper. It's important to put a dropper and you could have a hopper underneath it with a chest if you wish. If not, you could just keep the dropper like it is. Uh, but you're going to need to do two hoppers behind this, which is just like this. So you'll place the hoppers here and here and then you'll come right here. Place a armor stand down and then take lava once you have it all built up. And just place it on that glass right there. Once you have that, it is now activated and we can now smelt down all of the different ores. So you place the ore there and you will get two in return with the smeltery. So let me just do time set day. So you can spam this, yes, uh, a whole bunch of times to get a whole bunch of uh, doubled diamond and stuff since you can modify a whole bunch of new stuff don't worry i'm gonna add in a bunch of more modified things but once the the smeltery actually has a certain amount of uses it will actually destroy the lava like so and you will actually have to come back up here and place lava down for it to rework and once the lava hits the third glass down here uh, you will be able to work and use it again it's normally around i think yeah, it's around a stack before the lava is gone, which is really nice because it's only like 30 diamond ore. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got so far, guys. You will be able to craft this anywhere in the world, and you could craft it facing this way, this way, or this way. You don't have to face this way, but this is all I got so far in the add-on. I will continue to uh, update it you know, more and stuff, so that way you can actually use this a lot more. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys like this and what you're thinking about it, what you're thoughts on on this and you know if if you liked how i'm doing it and how everything's working out if you have any suggestions on what i could do and what kind of modifiers because i am making them a lot different because i do have the vanilla which is diamond gold and iron for the modifiers right now uh which is just for the wood because it's early in early game stuff but i will let it, i will make it where when you get the axe heads and rod handles which oh i did add in a new uh give at p tickers and let's do rod let's just do rod i don't think i added it in i know i did the modifier pattern pattern yeah okay so i'm gonna add in the actual uh rod pattern so whenever you uh can actually craft in like say a diamond pickaxe head with a gold handle and you'll use binding i will add that guys don't worry and it'll have its own special abilities as well but let me know if you like it if you you know any suggestions comment down below i'll see you in the next video i'm daycom black rose Bye -bye.